caught in the crossfire It's caught in the crossfire How's it going everyone? So as you saw in the beginning of the video, I went on a quick morning grocery run. I was a bit low on food so I had to stock up and all that food you all saw was just under $45. I think it was around 43 or something. So if you ever struggle with how to grocery shop or you know the best affordable foods in order to get results, go ahead check out my grocery video I uploaded around two weeks ago. You'll definitely find that very helpful. I'll definitely link it in the description box below. So definitely check that out. But let's move on to this workout commentary. And for this workout, this was honestly the worst workout I've had in a long time, guys. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I haven't had a workout this bad in a long, long time. And I realized that I really need to take a break. Uh, I've been pushing myself way too much. And as natural, natural lifters, we can't be pushing ourselves and progressing every single day, weeks on end, months on end, and even years on end. You have to sometimes take a little break. And I've realized that after this workout that I'm definitely in need of that break. Um, the bench press, I was scheduled to hit 250 pounds for three reps, which I've done before and I could literally only hit it once, as you saw. And then for the sumo deadlifts, I was hitting 335 pounds for three reps, which is my second set, right? I, I, I need to do one more set for 355, for three plus reps, but I didn't even attempt that because 335 went up so slow, it felt so heavy. And as you all saw in the last previous video I uploaded, I hit 335 on the sumo deadlift for six easy reps. So that, honestly just said it right there that I needed to take a, a break and you know it's completely normal if you're like me and you have kind of a hard head on recovery and you're always trying to push yourself no matter what hopefully this video helps you out and hopefully it sheds some light on the importance of recovery guys we all need it it's great to push yourself and always be out of your comfort zone but recovery is such an important part when it comes to lifting. So if you're ever in my position, you see yourself going on a huge downward spiral like that and just being a lot weaker on lifts when your life has been pretty normal, you know, your circumstances weren't terrible, then definitely take a break. Some people do better with three or four days completely off from the gym, or some people even do better doing deload days. So going into the gym and doing their normal workout routines, but just using a lot less weight, going higher reps and going way, way, way before failure, which is what I'm gonna do. You guys will see, I'll talk about it later in the video. But anyways, just wanna share that with you all. Hope you all enjoy this. Be sure to give it a like. I'll see you all in just a bit. So I just got back home and as y'all can tell from that workout commentary, today's workout absolutely sucked. I seriously haven't had a workout that bad in about two months, two and a half months, because all my workouts have been going amazing. Every session I've literally been progressing and you know, it really made me realize that as a natural athlete, nobody can keep going up and up and up for weeks and months on end. There's gonna come to a point where your body needs that rest. So if it's something that I'm bad at, it's backing off when I need to. I haven't had a deload in months, guys. Literally, I have not even had any rest from the gym in so long. So what I'm gonna do is the next three, as I explained in the work commentary, probably, I'm not sure you haven't done it, but I'm gonna take the next three days either off, completely off, or go in the gym and do my cycle three days in a row of just going 50% weight on everything and pretty much having like an active recovery day for all, a few days and really take three, four days of rest. But anyways, I'm back at home right now. Got a standard meal, some white rice, chicken breast, black beans. Let me go ahead and show you guys a little close up. But just the typical stuff. And I actually have canned black beans, like I said in here. I've been throwing in black beans a lot lately in my white rice and chicken dishes. Makes it taste a lot better. But just a note. If you, or when I eat canned anything, it needs to be no sodium added. Just because the amount of sodium they put in canned foods is ridiculous. It literally bloats the hell out of me. And it's not that like sodium has an effect in your long-term weight loss or long-term weight gain, but I just can't stand being bloated. I hate it. So just a little side note, mental note, when you get canned items, try to make it no sodium added. It'll make you feel a lot better. But anyways, 
got a lot of stuff to do on the computer. Then I got some more stuff. I'll take you all along. People talk about the hustle, but then you're talking about your six o'clock, you know, happy hour drink, or your video game, or this and that. And here we are in the holidays, and everybody's going to their holiday party. And I've got one meeting coming up right now, two meetings after that, reviewing all my email. And so while everybody's drinking some goddamn eggnog, I continue the hustle. And so you can say it, or you can do it, but I highly recommend you do both. All right, so before I end this video off, I figured I'd touch on this topic real quick, but I decided to do three deload days in the gym and then followed by one off day. So besides just taking four days completely off from the gym, um, I figured it'd be better to go in and kind of treat this more as an active recovery besides just keeping my muscles 100% stagnant. Um, better to go in and move them a little bit. But what I'm going to do is go in and do around 50% of the weight I usually use and hit around 10 to 15 reps and really just treat this more as active recovery. I'm not focusing on progression or getting stronger or any of that, just focusing on moving my muscles and recovering these next few days because I really, really need it. But I drew out this graph um, just to show you all something. A lot of people think that your strength progression and overall improvement in the gym looks like this. But in reality, this is how it looks like, guys. It's gonna be up and down. Not every day is gonna be perfect. And you know, your, your, your training's not gonna go 100% as planned every single day in the gym. So stop looking at it as a day-by-day -day thing and look at it more of an overall bigger picture. Two, three months from now, look back at your lifts, look at your physique, you know, ask yourself, have I improved? Has my lifts gone up? Has my strength improved the gym? Have I been feeling better? Has my physique improved? It's all about the bigger picture. As long as you're focusing on key movements, focusing on progression, and training with frequency, you're gonna be just fine. Just be sure to train smart, and work hard. But anyways, that's gonna wrap up the video. Really hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to give this video a like. Go ahead, comment down below, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'll see you all in the next video.